Christmas shows. We all love them, right? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. You are doing well, yeah? Hopefully, yes. Well, we're here to cheer you up today because a lot of people do ask me, Neil, you know, you get invited to so many great things and it's true, I do. What are the best Christmas shows? A lot of people also around the world are possibly not familiar with a very British institution, pantomime. I know now it's spread around the world over the last few years, particularly into Canada, Australia, and of course, Germany, in fact. But it is rather confusing for a lot of people who possibly don't understand the format. This is the one where a man dresses as a woman, Prince Charming's a woman, Woman who well it's all rather confusing but actually it kind of fits in to the 21st century now don't you think I better shut up I'll get myself into trouble but a lot of people say to me you know what are the best Christmas shows that you've seen and this simply really is only one and I was lucky enough a few years ago to go behind the scenes of the wonderful Radio City Music Hall in the very heart oh yes of New York City this is the home of the wonderful Rockettes now, if you're not familiar with the Rockettes, they are a phenomenal dance troupe. Let me tell you, those girls work incredibly hard, up to eight hours a day rehearsing for weeks on end before, of course, their spectacular Christmas show. Now, I was taken all around that wonderful Radio City building. I didn't know, of course, the wonderful history. There's so many rooms, nooks and crannies, also a museum attached to it too. And of course, when you look at the wealth, that built Radio City and apparently it nearly got knocked down quite a few years ago. But the Rockettes for me were absolutely wonderful. Interesting also, isn't it? One of the girls that I first talked to turned out to be from England, Norfolk exactly. And you kind of think you travel all that way to New York to do a special and then of course the first person you meet is someone from Britain. I didn't realise of course that the Rockettes were indeed inspired here from Britain. That's because our very famous John Tiller girls, oh yes, the famous Tiller girls way back in 1922 were working for Ziegfeld in a review on Broadway and that inspired someone to create their very own Rockettes. Now, what I like about the Tiller girls, they're very similar in fact to the wonderful Rockettes, are that they all dance in unison and currently, I have to tell you, if you're a fan of the Tillers, they are back at their natural home of the London Palladium this year appearing in a pantomime alongside another lush American in the shape of the wonderful Donny Osmond alongside equally brilliant and talented Gary Wilmot. But back to the Rockettes. Now what was it like meeting them? Absolutely fabulous as you can see from this video below and yes I did get to appear on that magnificent stage that, of course, has been the home of so many wonderful events from Grammys, movie premieres and, of course, used in movies, too, as a backdrop. Now, if you have an opportunity to go to New York City over this festive season, please do pop in and say hello because it truly is worth the visit. Not that expensive either. They have very good value. Plus, they have a wonderful shop. Nearly spent a fortune in there. But if you can't travel, and obviously a lot of people can't right now, do look out for some streaming versions of their shows coming up. Check out their YouTube channel. Truly, if we're all feeling a little bit down right now, we need a bit of glitz and glamour in our lives, then this really is something that will cheer you up. If you get a chance, as I say, to go to New York City and see the Rockettes, like me, you truly will never forget the experience. But of course, as I say, if you can't, do check them out online. Whatever you're doing this Christmas, let me know what you're up to. Are you going to see a show, a pantomime, a musical, or are you watching something online? Sometimes, of course, at this time of year, I'm sure we're all the same. I like to listen to a really good play on the radio, you know, those audio things and stuff like that. Because when you turn the lights down, get a nice cup of Horlicks, a couple of jammy dodgers, you know what I'm saying, you can create your own wonderful imagination. And if you're looking for something, something else I could recommend is, of course, at Bertram's Hotel by the wonderful Agatha Christie. Before you ask, I'm not getting paid by any of this stuff at all. Just truly wanted to share with you uh, some of my thoughts and things that you might like to do if, of course, you've got the time over the festive season. Now, I know you're all thinking I'm going to high kick off now and do a Rockets routine. Sadly, I'm not. But I will see you soon. As ever, Neil Sean in the heart of London.